Welcome to Curating Good, where we help you merge value and purpose to create meaningful, impactful connections with those you want to reach in a world full of information overload. My name is Evan Doyle, and I'm grateful to have you join me as together we attempt to curate more good. In this episode, we're going to delve into one of the essential pillars of curation, stewardship. It's a term we typically associate with financial or environmental responsibility, but in the world of curation, stewardship takes on a broader and equally significant meaning. When we talk about stewardship as a curator, we're referring to individuals who are caretakers of ideas, culture, knowledge, or information. Our task as a curator is to not just construct experiences that are meaningful, but also resonate with our community. Now you might ask, why does that even matter? Why should we strive to create content that resonates rather than simply informing or entertaining? Well, the answer lies in our human need for connection and understanding. In this digital age, we are bombarded with an overwhelming amount of information every single day. Our social media feeds, news outlets, and countless platforms are constantly vying for our attention. Yet amidst this sea of data and information, what really captures our attention? What seems to stick? What is the type of content that really moves us into action? It's that which resonates with us deeply. Now, when we say something resonates, it means that it strikes a chord within us. It means it's aligning with our values. It's reflective of our own experiences or challenges or perceptions. It goes beyond our mere interest to connect with us on an emotional level. This means as a curator, creating such experiences will require empathy, understanding, and a deep commitment to serving your audience. A meaningful experience that resonates could be anything that brings about a shift in understanding or creates a personal connection. It could be a blog post that helps someone overcome a personal challenge, a podcast that sparks a new idea, or a curated list that brings joy or inspiration. These experiences are meaningful because they have a way of transcending the usual informational exchange and are able to touch the heart and mind. But how do we create such experiences? It starts with knowing your audience, understanding their needs and interests and their challenges by listening to their stories and their feedback. This insight can allow you to select, organize, and present content that not only serves their needs, but also connects with them on a deeper level. This kind of content goes beyond providing information. It can inspire and motivate and connect with the audience on a personal level. And remember, resonance doesn't happen by accident. It's the result of thoughtful curation based on a deep understanding of your audience. It's about choosing content that will engage, inspire, and add value to their lives. So as we go about curating, let's strive not to just inform or entertain, but to resonate. By crafting experiences and sharing content that resonates with our audience, we can forge stronger connections, foster a sense of community, ultimately, and ultimately, it becomes possible to curate more good. This is the power of meaningful curation. And this is what we as curators, as stewards, strive to achieve. So concerning this pillar of curation, let's dive into how to be a good steward. Firstly, a steward takes responsibility. In the realm of curation, this means owning the process of selecting, organizing, and presenting content. But let me be clear. This isn't about carelessly tossing things together. It's about making informed and thoughtful decisions. When choosing content, it's vital to ask yourself a set of questions to ensure that what you're offering is truly valuable. Start by considering the source of the information. Where's it coming from? Is it reputable? Is it reliable? Authenticity is key in today's world where misinformation can easily spread and happens all the time. Next, think about the content's credibility. Who is the author or the creator? 
What is their expertise or experience in the topic at hand? Are they offering a unique perspective or are they just regurgitating what already exists? Next, reflect on how the content aligns with the needs and interests of your audience. Is this something they would be genuinely interested in or benefit from? Does it respond to a question they have, solve a problem they face, or offer a fresh perspective on a topic that they care about? Ask yourself, will this content add value to my audience? Will it enrich their experience and understanding? Content that's valuable can be useful in a variety of ways. Sometimes it means it's inspirational, thought-provoking, or just plain enjoyable. The goal is to create a meaningful connection between the content and your audience. And finally, concerning stewardship, think about the longevity of the content. Will it stand the test of time? Does it have the potential to be evergreen, continually relevant even as trends shift and time passes? Making these considerations as part of your curation process can help ensure you're not just aggregating content, but really curating thoughtfully and responsibly, selecting content that serves, enriches, and resonates with your audience. This level of care, this commitment to stewardship, is what truly sets an excellent curator apart. Secondly, being a good steward means showing respect for the materials we curate. As curators, we should remember that the content we handle isn't just data or artifacts. These are fragments of our shared human experience, each carrying its own story and its own worth. So what does it mean to respect this content? It means that we treat every piece of information, every story, every idea with the honor it deserves. Avoid the temptation to twist the message or the intent just to make it more interesting or click-worthy. Respect the inherent integrity of the information. Respect goes beyond just the content itself. We must also respect our audience, understanding that they're intelligent, discerning individuals capable of appreciating depth and complexity. You don't have to oversimplify or dumb down the content. Instead, provide context ask thought-provoking questions, and encourage engagement and discussion. As curators, we are the intermediaries between the content and our audience. Therefore, it's our responsibility to present the information in a way that preserves its integrity, honors its origins, and enriches our community's understanding. This type of respect for the content and our audience is the hallmark of effective stewardship concerning curation. And finally, a steward understands that they are a servant. Curation isn't about spotlighting our expertise or boasting about how good our taste is. Our work is all about our community. This is a powerful perspective to maintain. Curation is an act of service. We don't curate to stroke our ego or to receive accolades. Our guiding compass should always be to provide experiences that are meaningful and engaging to those we serve. Remembering that our audience isn't a faceless crowd, it's a collective of individuals, each with their own unique tastes, needs, and challenges. Therefore, we must strive to understand their needs, to grasp their interests, and to empathize with their challenges. Effective curation isn't just about broadcasting information, it's about connecting with people on a human level, aiming to solve problems, whether they're big or small, and seeking to inspire thought and incite action. It's content that helps them learn, shapes them, develop new skills, or broaden their perspective. Consider how the content you're curating can serve your audience. Can it inform them, enlighten them, entertain them, challenge them? The more value you provide, the deeper your connection becomes. This is the heart of stewardship in curation. It's about responsibility, respect, and above all, service. It's about enriching the lives of your community with each piece of content that you share. It's about curating for the good of others and not just for yourself. In understanding our role as stewards, we become more than organizers of information. We transform into caretakers of ideas, culture, knowledge, and resources. This is a key 
to curating more good in our world and why this practice is so valuable. It's through this lens that we see curation not just as a mechanical process, but as an opportunity for human connection. We're not merely presenting information, we're building bridges, cultivating trust, and influencing our audience in a truly significant way. Before we wrap up, I wanna share with you The Good List. This is a curated collection of resources, insights, and ideas that I found joy in or value recently within my life. And maybe they can do the same for you. First on the list is an episode from the Typology Podcast with Ian Cron as he interviews Jerome Wagner talking about the different Enneagram stances. Next is a list on Prime called Air Courting a Legend. This is a narrative about Nike courting Michael Jordan and it's a fascinating look at drive, determination, grit, and culture. For my fellow content creators, there's an app that you may find useful called Teleprompter. This tool allows you to input your scripts and record directly from your phone, making your content creation process that much smoother and faster. It's been a game changer for me. On Instagram, there's an account that I've been following called Liz and Molly. Their illustrations are insightful and I think you'll enjoy them too. And finally, for any adventurers, I wanna recommend the Earth Pack Dry Bag. I recently got this bag and it's great for keeping my gear dry while I'm kayaking on the water. Don't forget you can find links to these resources and items in the description. Some of these are affiliate links, meaning I may earn a small commission, but this in no way affects my recommendations. If you haven't already, sign up for the good newsletter at curatinggood.com to help you become a better curator to foster growth, establish trust, and make a greater impact with your audience and those you desire to serve. As we continue on this journey of understanding and improving the art of curation, let's be mindful stewards of the content we share and the experiences we create. Together, we can curate more good for our world and audiences. Thanks for joining me on Curating Good, and until next time, keep curating good.